so you know obviously we're going to knock cd out of that that tier a little bit um and i think it would just pretty much stay waddle and aj brown just basically due to age yeah um and then we'll drop down uh probably to the next one and that would probably be cup adams and hill um i didn't have hill in that one to start this season either Um, digs in that tier no yeah cup cup adams digs and hill sorry yeah i agree yeah those four guys for sure so you got the young guys, and I don't mind throwing Waddle up there. I would take Waddle above those four old dudes that are crushing because of his age. And then you got the four old dudes, which is hard to still – like it's hard to take with those four old dudes before A.J. Brown. And um, – Right. Who who'd you just say with A.J. Brown? Uh, I said Waddle, and then C.D. was in that tier for me. But gotcha, pro- gotcha. he's probably going down below yeah. those. Yeah. Still hard to – Start out of a dynasty team taking the 29 year old receiver over the 23 year old guy. It's still hard to make that decision and, and do it. But I, right. And, but that's also why, you know, you need to to have some caveats in your in your tiered rankings. Like, you know, what do you, what, what are you supposed to do with CD at this point? I mean, it seems like, you know, if, you, if you're at that point, maybe maybe you trade back and get and you don't want to invest in those older wide receivers, you just trade back behind all those older wide receivers and see if CD's still there. If he's still there, I'm fine with taking him. And if he's not, then oh well. But, I mean, you kind of – you can't just be so cut and dry with rankings and tiers of just right. saying, you know, yeah, it is it's, it's really hard to, to take CD over or uh, to take those old guys over CD. But right now, I mean, it, it feels – feels like maybe I guess it's the right thing to do really the, the, I think one of the bigger conversations is you know th- does that does that next group of guys stay where they are or do they drop down another tier the older guys they drop down another tier because they are going to be they're pretty much all with the exception of Hill and Diggs or, and does do Hill and Diggs make their own tier stay up there and Cup and, year younger. and Cup and and Adams kind of slide back a little bit because it is you know well, the two guys are going 29 30 the other guys are going 28 29 yeah i like um, it i like it i can see that and and to your point of like you know passing on cd lamb and taking one of these older guys like we're in the middle of a season right now and these you know cd lamb's only wide receiver 16 he's 19th in points per game with 14.6 ninth in targets eighth in yards per route run 17th in yak which is a little low in my opinion for him also dak missed a bunch of time cowboys haven't quite figured it out like it's it's always but it is always something over there, it seems like. But he still is only 23. But he's not winning you weeks right now if you have CeeDee Lamb, whereas all four of those other old guys are winning you weeks and and making you highly competitive. So when you're in the middle of the season, it's really hard to justify putting C Lamb over any of them in your rankings. But come off season and age comes back into it and you're not in the middle of them scoring right. you a bunch of points, it, it could definitely shift. And things could – we're only halfway through the year. So if, if C D Lamb starts to pick it up a little bit and shows us a little bit of ceiling, he just needs a couple of two touchdown games sure. and we'll be back excited about C D Lamb again. But it's well, just – you know, you talk about C D Lamb at 14 points a game, like that's good for wide receiver 20. And – I might be looking at a league that might have a bonus here or there. So it might be like, hey, it's 14.6 at my my league says 14.4, whatever. Close enough, you get the point. Uh, But like right now, Mike Evans in this this league right here is 15.4, 15.5 points a game at wide receiver 12. Because that's a cutoff that you know, hey, he's wide receiver one. I think that's right. At wide just receiver, about right on par with a regular PPR score. Okay, so. so all right, so wide receiver. Well, the only reason I mentioned that is because you said something about somebody's points, and it was like three tenths different than mm-hmm. what I'm looking at. Um, but so the wide receiver twenty four is Pittman at fourteen point one, which is a point behind the twelve, right? Point well, one point three points a game separates. The tw- wide receiver two, what twelve, and wide receiver twenty four. You know, so like Ceedee Lamb's fourteen points a game, but like he's right there with all of the other guys that we like too. You know, and he's young, and he's got that name cachet, and he's got that name equity value, and he's always doing that sniff if you, first down thing. If, if you cool drafted Ceedee Lamb two years ago in a startup early, and this last year if you're you drafted a him, salty. you're not happy about it. But he's, st- I mean, he's right there. Is he's not. 20 points again there's all you know there's five six wide receivers doing that and then four behind them at 18 then it drops off but it's just that's why when you're in the start like right now we're doing some rankings and we're just only in what we're just talking about wide receivers and it's it's even tough just talking about wide receivers but when you're in that startup 
Makes sense. Some running backs, a couple quarterbacks, and some tight ends. And you're like, man, that's why you're always like, well, I can get a wide receiver in a minute. Yeah. Let me, I need to get, I don't, I, there's like three running backs I like and all the rest of them. I don't really, I'm not, I'm not super excited about. I can get a wide receiver in a minute. You got 12 of them in a row that score the exact same on average every week, you know? And then the next 12, I didn't go any farther, but the next 12 is another point. You I mean, know? yeah, you can, from, you can get you got, pretty far down almost into the thirties and be fairly close with scoring from there on out. Right. You do, you can just look as soon as it goes. not, I mean, this is arbitrary, but like as soon as it goes from 15 down to 14 and 14.9 is Mike Williams, you go all the way down here to wide receiver 30 to Gabe Davis at 13. That's two points a week for 15 wide receivers, you know? Right. So, and, and you know, all, all of those points aren't scored equally. Sure. Um, especially, especially with Gabe especially Davis, Davis, Davis he's like but, 30 or five. Yeah. And same thing. I mean, you know, Tyler Boyd's had, some, he's right here. He's had some blow up weeks and some set a uh, two, a five, a and five, benefiting a seven from both T Higgins missing most of a game and Jamar Chase mm-hmm. missing games. Now I just got off on, you know, cause just bringing in like the 14 points a week, 14 and a half for CD lamb, like, We've, wide receiver 20 doesn't sound great, but if it's, it's the exact same as wide receiver 12 and wide receiver 30, you know, so it's like, well, you mean when you say it like that, it's like he's not doing bad. He's just he's not, certainly not doing bad right now. He's not. He's, he's, he's not killing you. I when mean, you, when you took CD lamb, Diggs was on the board. Um, probably Devonte Adams. Tyreek Hill was it, on the board. Tyreek you know, was definitely that whole so older guy tier was on the board. You get that's seven, for the most part. Maybe not cup seven, nine points a week. You know, and especially like you said, not all points are gained gotten equally. Tyreek Hill has had yeah, he had a five point week, but every other one was, you know, there's thirteen and a fourteen in there, and then it was thirty, twenty seven, forty. Like week winning, you know, hey, I had Tyreek Hill, so if you had if I had anybody else that did good, I probably won. You know, so that's the way those that's right. the way there, those there's high a, there's end a guys. lot of there's a lot of Tyreek Hill teams right now who are sitting in the top two, three of their leagues. Um I'm I'm you know number one in our our, one of our leagues with Tyreek Hill, and I got a lot of question Neckler. marks. I had Brees Hall, he gone, and Andrews hadn't been doing a whole lot, but Tyreek Hill's been and that, Tyreek Hill and Eckler have been carrying me. Yeah. So you started the the season off with four point nine from PPR points from CD, but then it really, you know he hasn't killed you at all since then. It's with fif- a backup quarterback right. half the season, it was fifteen, twenty two, twenty one. Then a ten, a twelve, and then Dak at at Detroit, kind of first game ish back right. there. He's not hurt. Got you. got you ten, and then this last game with Dak, Chicago, eighteen points. So I mean, if if we can get back to closer to the eighteen threshold, uh, you know, maybe not every game, and you have a couple of twelves in there. By the dip, maybe you could get to the sixteen area of points per game, and then you know you're not that upset about CD, and you know how good it. It, it, it can it be. It can be, and you can be. You can buy the uh, perceived dip, the 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 burn on, you know, like for instance, Kyle Pitts. He's been hurting you, right? You know, hurting you, killing Ceedee C- Lamb. It and killing softly, you. Ceedee Lamb. It and hurting you. He's just not in the top seven or eight really good score and wide receivers, but he has had a week or two here or there, but he's, you know, and he half a season with a backup quarterback. Like, buy, buy the perceived dip in CeeDee Lamb. I like it. Because he's sliding down in our tiers right now, and he hasn't really done anything wrong. He's right. hasn't done it great. Well, it, it is interesting that, you know, you can't, I think you got to, like you said, I think maybe you break out Diggs and, and Hill and throw them up above and then slide Cooper and, and Adams a little below them. It's semantics. Um, sure. But, I I was I couldn't I can't find it uh readily. I should have wrote it down, but um has had uh CeeDee Lamb has had one game with a hundred yards plus receiving. Um I can't I don't know how many games it's been, but it's a lot. Right, not like, good. Like you look at you look at this this yardage, it's twenty nine, seventy five, eighty seven, ninety seven. That's mm. pretty close. So mm. a little bit of semantics there. Thresholds, Casey. Um, but fifty three, ninety eight, seventy, seventy seven, and I think it goes back. Yeah, um, uh, sixty eight. Um, you know, I think it goes back to into last year where he, it's been a pretty long stretch of not having a hundred yards uh, for a receiver like Ceedee Lamb isn't isn't the best optics. Um, so. Yeah, I think it's it's deserved that you got to bump him down a little bit, but like you said, I think uh, Jason said it, you know, pretty well that you're you're in the middle of the season and you right now you're 
it actually in the season, scoring points, seeing the points, the points mattering. And then once you get to the off season, that age factor comes in a whole lot more. Absolutely. And he's 23, dude. Right. He's 23. Right. There's, re- there's rookies that are 23 years old. You know, yeah. this is a, this is a Mari Cooper all over again. Yeah. So I, th- I think that he's, was a good summation. He could have three more really good seasons and be 26. That's how <laughs> these numbers work. 23 plus three. So basically, the, he's still super young. He's a numbers guy. I'm we're a gonna, numbers guy. We're gonna go, you know, sort of chase Justin Jefferson. However, you want to chop that up into kind of a tier one. We're gonna move. I'm gonna move CD out of my tier two. I'm gonna have Waddle and AJ Brown there, and then we're gonna have Diggs Hill in the next tier, and then we're gonna go Cup Adams, and then we're gonna slide CD behind there. At least that's what I'm doing. Is there anybody have any difference of opinion there? I'd still take him before Cup and Adams in I, the, just because he's 23. I think once you get – I think that's fair. I think we covered that yeah, for I, the most part. Yeah. So we could we – could, so are I you, would probably are you just keeping him, him in, tier, in tier two then? Yeah, I probably would. I mean, everything we just talked about, I'd probably just have to talk myself. Hill or Diggs? It, yeah, I mean, it, what you said last week or Monday – about everything situational. Right. I'm not giving you Hill for C D Lamb in that lay, league right now where I'm best record most in points. Not happening. Because I my team has struggled for a couple of years and I've always been that it's a really, really fun league Is that where the tight end league. The tight end league where every you know the the team with the most total points that didn't have the win loss record to make the playoffs is the last team in the sixth place team most and points that gets was that spot i couldn't i've had a i've had a really rough go with that team but i always scored points because i had tyreek hill Austin Eckler, mark andrews you know i had some points but i didn't have anybody else scoring points you got you got this so i you know Three or four of the top point scorers at positions, but, but then, then the rest is was bleak. Right. And but so I was always making the playoffs instead of getting in the losers bracket to play for the one one. And like three years in a row. And so I always but had the one one keeps trading you as goddamn I had, pick. Not the right not the same. Got really, Brees, different so right? I did get Brees, but it wasn't a player team that should have been the one one. I got lucky and went through and won the one, you know. So true. He uh anyway. I find I've always been I've always had a one seven one eight one nine draft pick because I was been out of the losers bracket to play for a good draft pick, but not good enough to play with the big boys and get beat up, you know. So, and I was f- point four points away last year from being second place. I got third place last year. I was half a point away from really making some decent money at second place. And uh, this year, my team's doing all right. And I <laughs> lost a couple guys, had some injuries, but. So I'm not trading. Di- I tried to trade Diggs. I tried to trade Diggs and Eckler heavy to start Hill. the year. But it's, yeah, yeah, Hill. So Hill and Eckler, Tyreek Hill and Eckler were heavy trade out targets for me on this team because I was like, well, let's go ahead and blow it up. I had a really good rookie class come in. Got I ain't got nothing out of Sky more yet, but I got Alave and Brees Hall. And I just kind of rebuilt, you know, rebuilt the team. And I was like, let's go ahead and get rid of hill and eckler and keep the ball rolling let's let's go young let's let's redo it We're whole team and then i'm here we go i got a couple of lucky play i have najoku and had him in there the first couple of weeks yeah. when he was doing work and yeah know. i think i think you know it is important so i'm not trading you cd lamb for i'm not giving you hill for cd lamb on that team right now because my right. team's running my, i'm running hot even with Brees Hall being hurt i still got a chance i'm i'm gonna make the playoffs i might make have a bye week and I've been had haven't even had good quarterback play. I've had Stafford in there stinking it up all year long. I finally got Justin Fields coming to life. If you're guaranteed three more years of production of Tyreek Hill doing what he's doing right now, no doubt about it. Give me Hill over Lamb. Yeah, she doesn't seem like it's but, he's slowing down. But you know, exactly. That's seven eight points a week. If Hill's doing what he's doing for three more years, I'm taking Hill. But in three more years, Hill's well up well over the hill, if you will. And C.D. Lamb's at 26 years old we just talking about. He's younger than Hill is now, three years from now, <laughs> you know? So, in a startup, I'm taking Lamb as the asset, most likely. Or, like Casey said, you trade back and you do what you got to do. And if you trade back and you miss Hill, or you, as long as you get one of them, you did, you know, you got some equity. You raised some equity by trading back. Yeah. yeah you know, most times I would say the better asset for Dynasty is probably Lamb, but you cannot argue with Hill's 
It's also going to Hall of Fame pace. depend on how your first couple picks also pan out, whether or not you're willing to go, which route you're willing to go. Tyreek Hill just went from a gadget guy in the last half decade. He went from a gadget guy to Andy Reid's pet to Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league to getting paid and me doubting his ability to stay focused to now if he just keeps doing what he's doing, he's going to have a gold jacket. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, wow. it's, it's Maybe Super Bowl. You know, I guess he already does that one. Yeah. Maybe a Super Bowl. So, he's I got mean, one with the Chiefs, it's, but. It's he's he fits really well in the system and the system's brand new and nobody really has the book necessarily on it because it's kind of Niners, but it's McDaniel's own it's thing. You can't with, put uh, a book on Hill and Waddle at the same time. Right. You can get your book together. It, like you, you can't defend you have that. To flip through but now all of a sudden that running game is 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 coming along like you thought it might. And you now they got Jeff Wilson and Mostert and it's it's just, you know, they're kind of get, get, getting you on all fronts. Um Sold a couple of Mostert's for second rounders while he was hot. Like that. Got to get from under. Yeah.